Hello everyone, Sula here. I'm very excited today because I've found out that the Chabot Space and Science Center is reopening its telescopes for public viewings. So tonight, Pepper and I are going to go look through them. Chabot has three telescopes for public viewing. They have an eight inch Alvin Clark refractor built in 1883 and donated to Chabot by founder Anthony Chabot named Leah. It's in its own observatory and they have another observatory that houses a 20 inch refractor that they've named Rachel and it was built in 1916. And they are both in traditional observatories. And then they have a third observatory that's a barn with a retracting roof giving a 180 degree view. And it houses a 36 inch research grade reflector telescope purchased by Chabot in 2003. All three of these telescopes give awe inspiring views of the night sky. Unfortunately, it's public viewing, so I won't get to choose my own <laughs> objects, but I'm sure they'll pick out some exciting things to look at and whatever they choose, it's bound to be great, weather permitting. They only open the telescopes for public viewings on Fridays and Saturdays and only if the humidity is below 85%. And their website provides links to up to the minute weather reports on the area to determine whether the telescopes will be open. Chabot Space and Science Center is located in Joaquin Miller Park in Oakland, California, and it sits 1,500 feet above the San Francisco Bay with sweeping views of the Bay Area. They also have a science center open during the day, but I'll check that out some other time. So, we're gonna go head over. It's open from 7.30 to 10.30 and check it out. Since it's open to the public, I won't be able to put a light on, so I hope we'll be able to see these awesome telescopes. I'll check in with you later. Chabot Space and Science Center began in 1883 as the Oakland Observatory through a gift from Anthony Chabot to the city of Oakland. The original Oakland Observatory was located near downtown Oakland and provided public telescope viewing for the community. However, in 1915, due to increasing light pollution and urban congestion, the observatory moved to Mountain Boulevard. During this time, it was staffed mainly by the Oakland Unified School District personnel and volunteers. However, in 1989, Chabot Observatory and Science Center was formed as a joint powers agency with the City of Oakland, Oakland Unified School District, the East Bay Regional Park District, and the East Bay Astronomical Society. In October 1996, construction began on a new science center, and in January 2000, anticipating the opening, they changed the name to Chabot Space and Science Center to recognize a focus on astronomy and the space sciences. On August 19, 2000, Chabot Space and Science Center, an 86,000 square foot state-of-the-art science and technology education facility opened on an 11-acre site in the Oakland Hills. The showpiece of the center are the three fantastic telescopes, starting with Rachel, a 20-inch refractor telescope made by Warner and Swayze and optics by John Bashir in 1914. It has a 20-inch aperture, a 28-foot focal length. It's on a German equatorial mount, and it costs $20,000 to build it. It has a motor drive to track objects in the night sky, but the staff has to locate the objects, and the night we went, it took them quite a while to find Neptune.
Another showpiece of the center is LEA, an 8-inch refractor telescope built by Alvin Clark and Sons in 1883. It has an 8-inch aperture and a 112-inch focal length. It's on a German equatorial mount and it was built for popular and educational uses. Anthony Chabot was the son of a farmer in Canada. He was one of 16 children and he moved to California at age 16. He became adept at building hydraulic water systems and in 1866 he founded the Contra Costa County Water Company. He developed a monopoly on providing water to the city of Oakland. He also built San Francisco's first public water system by bringing water from Lobos Creek to San Francisco. In addition to funding the Oakland Observatory and donating LEA, he also built housing for veterans in Yountville, a shelter for unemployed women, and a daycare center for children of working women, all in Oakland. Many things are named after Anthony Chabot, including the Chabot Space and Science Center. He's buried in Oakland. going to the 36 inch telescope. It's a reflector. And it's in this barn. Whoa. Oh my god. Wow. So this is the brightest star in Talk to this guy, he takes a lot of pictures. Oh, okay. <laughs> the moon is born. This is Jupiter in a 36 inch reflector. Okay, we're looking at Jupiter with the 36 inch. I hope they get it on something more interesting in a while. We'll come back. Boy, was that fun. My footage didn't turn out as well as I would have liked, but. We at least got some good looks at Rachel, the 20-inch refractor, and it sure was fun looking through all three of the telescopes. I asked the guy at the 36-inch reflector if he would put it on the Helix Nebula, and he said I was the first person that ever came to a public viewing <laughs> that asked him to put it on the Helix Nebula. I said, I'm sure. Anyway, if you're ever in the area, or you live near Oakland, I highly recommend visiting Chabot Space and Science Center to view their three incredible telescopes on viewing night, Fridays and Saturdays. That's it for now. Dark skies forever. Sula, signing off.